Hello everybody, my name is John McCall and welcome to another Division 2 video. In today's video I want to show you another specific role in the Iron Horse raid. We take a look how you can one shot the big blue shield guys at Lieutenant Grey. Let's get started. We start with the specialization, I'm using the demolitionist for it, it's not that important which one you use, the reason why I use demolitionist are the 5% extra damage to targets out of cover for my teammates and that I ignore explosions every 60 seconds. But as I said the specialization is not the key for this build to work. My primary weapon is a FAMAS and my secondary is the named rifle Baker's Dozen. It's not important which weapons you use as your primary and your secondary, take whatever suits you best. The important part is your sidearm, cause you need the exotic pistol Regulus. You can only get this pistol from a project out of the Iron Horse raid. It has pistol damage and headshot damage on it. The talent is Regicide. Headshot kills create a 5 meter explosion, dealing 400% weapon damage and applying bleed to all enemies hit. You will see how that looks and work later in the video. The mods on it are 20% accuracy on the muzzle and 10% preload speed on the magazine. Let's take a look at my gear next. On my mask I have the named Douglas Harding mask punch trunk. One piece Douglas Harding gives me 20% pistol damage. I got weapon damage, the unique 20% headshot damage, critical hit chance and a headshot damage mod on it. On my chest I use the name Providence Defense Chest Piece to Sacrifice. I use 3 pieces of Providence in total. With 1 piece you get 15% headshot damage, with 2 pieces 10% critical hit chance and with 3 pieces 15% critical hit damage. The rolls are weapon damage, headshot damage, critical hit chance and the headshot damage mod. The talent is perfect glass cannon. Every damage you deal is amplified by 30%, all damage you take is amplified by 60%. You need this extra 30% to deal enough damage with one shot. On the holster is another key piece, cause you need the exotic holster Dutch City Gunslinger holster. It has weapon damage, weapon handling and headshot damage on it. The talent is quick draw. While your pistol is holstered, gain a stacking buff every 0.3 seconds up to 100. When you swap to it, your first shot consumes the buff and deals plus 10% damage per stack. This deals headshot damage to anywhere you hit. That means with full stacks, you gain a 1000% extra damage with your pistol. On my backpack is my second Providence Defense piece, I use the name Backpack to Gift, this one is Dark Zone only. Dark Zone only means it only drops in the Dark Zone or you can get it out of named caches that you get during League or Global events. Make sure that you check the Dark Zone vendors every week cause if you're lucky enough the piece is on sale there. This one is with weapon damage, critical hit chance, headshot damage and the headshot damage mod. The talent is Perfect Vigilance, increases total weapon damage by 25%, taking damage disables this buff for 3 seconds. You could also use a Providence Defense backpack with the normal Vigilance talent, the only difference is that the buff disables 4 seconds without the Perfect, it doesn't make that big difference. The gloves are the third and last Providence defense piece with weapon damage, critical hit damage and critical hit chance. And my knee pads are the named Overlord Fox's Prayer. Overlord gives me 10% rifle damage with one piece. The rolls are weapon damage, the unique 8% damage to target out of cover and headshot damage. The only reason why I use them are the 8% damage to target out of cover. We continue with the skills, the first skill that I use is the Riot Foam Cam Launcher, I will show you why you need it later in this video and the second skill I use is whatever is in need in the raid group. 
Before we jump into the raid, let's take a look at the stats. On my Regulus, I have 705,000 weapon damage, 44% critical hit chance, 72% critical hit damage, and most important, 235% headshot damage. You need about over 200% headshot damage, otherwise the build will not work reliable. Let's jump into the raid. Before you start the fight, make sure that the overcharge from the healer is ready and you add 100 stacks on your gunslinger holster. After you start the fight, wait till the three blue shield guys came up. Take out your riot foam cam launcher Gentlemen, and wait till they're in position. There's the overcharge, shoot with your cam launcher, switch the regulars, aim for the head, boom. Let's roll back real quick. Again, overcharge, cam launcher, switch to regulars, aim for the head. And that's how the explosion looks in slow motion. Switch to your primary or secondary weapon and help out to kill the boss. That's how you can one shot the big blue shield guys and the build for it at Lieutenant Grey in the Iron Horse raid. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have other ideas or versions for it or if you have questions about this build or method, use the comment section down below. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay tuned and don't miss any new video that I'm putting up online. Till the next time.